Good morning. My name is Beth Carbonella, and these are my children, Zoe and Max. We continue our journey through Advent, lighting our second candle, the candle of peace. Isaiah prophesied that Jesus would be the Prince of Peace, and the angels announced to the shepherds that Jesus would bring Prince Peace on earth. The The prophets had foretold that the anointed one, the Messiah, would come. Over 400 times, God gave the holy prophets his promise that the Messiah would come. God tells the people who the Messiah will be, what he will be like, and what he will do. But then God is silent. For 400 years, God is silent. No prophets speak messages of peace or of the coming Messiah who would bring peace between God and man. The people waited and waited. Would God keep his promise? The journey through Advent reminds us that that we wait knowing that all the promises of God are fulfilled in Jesus. Jesus said, in me you have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. But take heart, I have overcome the world. Thank you so much to the Carbonella family for starting us off on our second Sunday of Advent. My name is Miss Molly, and I am one of the teachers here with Grace Kids. Thank you. I wasn't expecting that. So we started last week. Pastor Nathaniel told us how in the Old Testament there was a promise, a promise that a baby would be born. He would be called Emmanuel. It, was, it meant God with us. That was a clue. It meant that God would be, this baby would be fully God and fully human. That is what our Messiah would be like. Now, why do we start in the Old Testament when the New Testament, the beginning of the New Testament, is when Jesus was born? We can learn so many things from the Old Testament. One of those is that over and over, the Israelites, and we turn away from God. But the good news is that from the very beginning of this whole story, in the book of Genesis, we begin to see how over and over God promises that he will bring a redeemer, a messiah, a rescuer, the anointed one. Now, Max and Zoe and Miss Beth told us over 400 times in the Old Testament, God makes these promises or prophecies about what this Messiah is going to be like. Now, this week, we start again in the Old Testament. The book of Malachi, the very last book of the Old Testament, gives us another one of those promises. It's a little confusing, but with our story today, I think we'll be able to figure it out. This is what the prophet Malachi had to say. He said, look, I am going to send you Elijah, the prophet, before the great and awesome day of the Lord comes. He will turn the hearts of fathers to their children, the hearts of children to their fathers. Hmm, God was going to send Elijah again? Now, the last time I was up here on this stage teaching with you, we learned about Elijah. Elijah lived during the time of the divided kingdom. What did God mean? Was this about the Messiah? What was God trying to tell them? Well, the people of that time weren't sure either. Because guess what happened after Malachi gave this promise? Nothing. For 400 years... There were no words from the prophets. There were no dreams. There were no visions. God was silent. Now, not only was God silent, things were hard for the Israelites because 
During those 400 years, their land was taken over, first by the Persians, then by the Greeks, and then by the Romans who oppressed them. So our story today happens during that time when the Romans are in charge of the Israelite land. We're looking in the book of Luke in the New Testament, in the first chapter. The story is about a man named Zechariah, a priest, and his wife, Elizabeth. Now, they loved God, obeyed God with their whole hearts, but they desperately wanted a child. God had not given them a child, and they had gotten older and older. They were older than your grandmas and grandpas. Still no child. Zechariah was a priest, and so he would go with the other priests to serve at the temple. Our story takes place today when Zechariah was there at the temple, ready to serve, and he was called, given a special honor to go into the sanctuary. And when he did, something startling, something unexpected happened. Listen. Verse 11 starts, An angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing to the right of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was terrified and overcome with fear. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, because your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you will name him John. There will be joy and delight for you, and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit. He will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. And he will go before him in the spirit and the power of Elijah to turn the hearts of fathers to their children and the disobedient to the understanding of the righteous, to make ready for the Lord a prepared people. Did you hear it? Not only were they going to have a baby, but that baby would be what? Filled with the Holy Spirit, go out in the spirit and power of Elijah, turn the hearts of fathers to their children, children to their fathers. This baby was the baby foretold by the prophet Malachi. This was not going to be the Messiah. This baby was going to go forth to tell that the Messiah was coming, to get the people ready. Now, Zechariah could not quite believe what the angel said. He said, I'm old, she's old. How's this going to happen? The angel said this, I am Gabriel who stands in the presence of God, and I was sent to speak to you and tell you this good news. Now listen. You will become silent and unable to speak until the day these things take place, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their proper time. And they were. Zachariah was silent. He couldn't speak until that baby John was born. But when he was born, Zachariah was filled with praise for God. Because not only had he become a parent, God had spoken. Remember, 400 years of silence from God. And now God was speaking with his people. And Jesus was coming. And for them back then and for us now, Jesus coming means God will never be silent again. The Bible goes on. All his neighbors, Zechariah's neighbors, were filled with fear and wonder. Throughout Judea's hill country, people were talking about all these things. Everyone who heard this wondered about it. And because the Lord was with John, they asked, What is this child going to be? Zachariah's whole community was in awe, was in wonder. What is this child going to be? You know, we want to live lives just like that. Whether you're young, whether you're old, we want people to look at our lives and say, who is this baby that you celebrate in the Advent season? Who is this Jesus? Jesus. 